Hey everybody, it's Effie Controller playing more Uncharted Waters New Horizons, and I done goofed. Consequences will never be the same because I uh, recorded a session of this wherein I ran around like a madman, but I also did not um, have the sound properly calibrated. So as a result, I had to trash the whole thing, but fortunately my progress was, uh, well, not my progress, what, what's the word I'm looking for? I save stated before I recorded, so... <laughs> As I always do. Oh, I already resupplied. I'm not paying very much attention, apparently. I'm all over the place. I'm all discombobulated. But we are in Panama right now. Panama! Or at least we're in the north side of Panama. And we're going to keep circumnavigating the Americas. And there's Cartagena, which we are going to bypass. We have plenty of food. And I'm not probably going to check out most of these supply... Or not supply ports. These uh, South American ports because at this point they're not very interesting um, if you um, if you kind of invest in them for a while they can sell some goods that are possibly interesting sometimes they'll have um, gold or um, vanilla or coral or tortoise shell I think or something like that but at this point meh we're not gonna bother with trade too much especially in this area when we already have ports that sell gold so there's Santo Domingo. We're on the get heading towards Haiti now, and heading now towards Cuba. And there's Santiago, and there's Jamaica, home of uh, feel-good movies about bobsledding. We're gonna stop there and uh, load up our ship with hidden cargo. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna buy some. Uh, Oregano. Yeah. No, we're just going to resupply. Oh, goodness. Took the oath. The oath of office. We are presidents of the sea. Our marriage oath? God. You keep forcing the issue. It's creepy. You know we're not involved in that way, right, Ernst? Well, if you say so. Uh-oh. Smoke alarm's going off. That's probably a bad thing. <laughs> I probably am on fire right now. Yeah, let's just take a quick break then, huh? Okay, crisis averted. I just stared it down and said, Look, fire, you're not going to shit on my LP. You're not going to fuck it up. Just like I fucked it up by not having the sound properly set up. So, fuck you. Go out. And that's what it did. Moving right along, uh, we're going to go ahead and leave port. After obtaining our uh, uh, unmentionable cargo. And we're gonna just scoot on through the Caribbean now. Uh, the Caribbean in this game is not very interesting, and w that's kind of appropriate given the timeline. Like, if you're playing a game like Pirates, obviously it would be interesting. But um, there's nothing, this is so early in the colonization of this area of the world that there's really not a whole lot going on. But there is one thing that I need to go uh, take a look at. Before I forget, and if you're new to this game and you're playing as Ernst, um, if you don't want to see a spoiler of sorts, I guess, look away, although I guess I just showed it on the map. <laughs> oh well. This is Bermuda. Why am I landing there? I'm not landing there. So, you'll see on the map, it actually shows up. You need to, basically, if I... I don't remember exactly for sure, but I think you need to clear the entire map as far as all the land masses in order for you to win the scenario. Well, you don't actually, I guess you don't need to do it to win, but maybe you do. I don't remember. Somebody out there is probably saying you complete an utter fool, yes you do, or you complete an utter fool, no you don't. I know that winning the game is based on your fame. FAME! I'm going to live forever. Oh, interesting. I just wanted to see what that guy was up to. And that's probably a buddy of his escorting him. Another convoy. Mm -mm. All right, so now we're on the Brazilian coast. And there's Cayenne. The spiciest port of all. We're going to stop here and supply because uh, not too far away... 
is the uh, Amazon estuary. So the Amazon in this game, shut up about it. We're not getting married. She's like, <laughs> I don't remember the, didn't we do the math at some point in this? She's basically, well, she's quite a bit younger than Ernst. Not to say that it's not going to happen. I mean, they are telegraphing it like crazy, but <laughs> it's just, it's inappropriate, Hans. You, you need to get your mite out of the gutter. Stop playing matchmaker. All right. Um, the Amazon, back back on topic, um, is really enormous, obviously, but it also has tons and tons and tons of discoveries, which we have already found here. So we're going to uh, try and... I try to be systematic about this because you can get kind of overwhelmed with all the, S the different uh, branches of the river and getting confused about which ones you visited and which ones you haven't. It's very confusing. Oh, I didn't need to entertain necessarily, but we'll search. Fuck! <laughs> and that's one thing about the Amazon is that it is full of horrible monsters. Such as the anaconda, a gigantic serpent. Adults may grow 19 feet long and weigh as much as 235 pounds. They are found near the water and crush their victims by constricting them in their coils. My nickname back in college was anaconda. I'll leave that to your imagination. Alright, gross. We're gonna go to this one because that's not a very big branch of the river. This is probably something else that's gonna kill us. I don't think so, actually. It is a plant. It is the Amazon water lily, an aquatic plant with giant floating leaves and large flowers. The leaves measure over six feet in diameter and are so strong that they can bear the weight of a small child. So, the only way, way to find out about that, folks. <laughs> Grab your children and throw them in the river. Do it. <laughs> Good lord. Somebody found that out the hard way, I'm getting the feeling. Now, see, this is an interesting area of the game. I feel like Koei just kind of got lazy with putting the sprites in there. They just were like, fuck it. We're done with all these trees. Oh well, I can't blame him. Let's see what's at this one. This is probably something else that's going to eat my face. I actually did sail up the Amazon in my previous recording that I had to trash, so... I know what's already in here, but I'm going to try and pretend like I don't. I've played this game so many times, I know where most of the discoveries are almost by heart, so... It's uh, kind of a foregone conclusion. I know where most things are and what most villages contain and all that crap, so... You should feel lucky that such a fantastic expert in this game is taking you through... Showing you the wonders of Uncharted Water's New Horizons. And that's why I'm entertaining so much, is that I know this is something that... Oh. Maybe I didn't need to entertain that much. This wasn't the thing that I thought it was. This is the... <laughs> An enormous tidal wave that occurs during the new moon in April. Locals say that huge waves may reach over 16 feet high and wash everything away from the shore. That sounds like a bummer. Alright, we're going to keep going to the left. As opposed to keeping the river on our right. Is anybody going to get that? That reference? Probably not. Not very many cannibals out there. Oh, Christ. <laughs> so we've lost 31 crew, I think. The Parana. The terror of South American rivers. It is not uncommon for these groups of fish to devour people or domesticated animals that try to cross their river. Don't ford the river. Ever. Okay, we're gonna keep going. And even with diminished crew, like we've lost half of our crew from messed up monsters and stuff, um, we're still sailing just fine. This ship is really good about that. So, oh, there's a village here. I'm gonna go pay a visit to these village people. <laughs> Young man, there's no need to feel down. I said tarantula, a large hairy poisonous spider that feeds on birds. 
and small animals, it's gonna eat your face right off your skull. Okay, we're gonna... This is... I don't like singing in my LPs because I'm a bad singer. And also, <laughs> I, uh... It's embarrassing. It's hugely embarrassing. <laughs> so why am I doing it? I don't know. These are questions I do not have the answer to. I'm actually really highly caffeinated uh, again. Um, I seem to only make LPs when I am either bugging out from too much coffee or when I'm near death from <laughs> from fatigue. So there's no in between for me. Uh, this is something that is also going to eat our face off and is uh, completely unbelievable. <laughs> It's another uh, bullshit discovery that Koei threw in here that, I don't know, is, is imaginative, I guess, but is, again, completely unbelievable. Although it is going to be highly valuable. I think we have to get up to 60. Yep, we're being attacked by a monster. Let's see what it is. It's a fucking bird dinosaur. The Archaeopteryx. <laughs> A reptilian bird thought to be an ancestor of today's birds. It had four legs and was unable to fly, but it is believed that this bird reptile could glide. Clever girl. Alright. Let's keep going up the river. And again, we are still sailing just fine with our relative skeleton crew. But we do have limited uh, visual range now. And we're actually at the end of the... or the beginning, really. The beginning or the end? The alpha or the omega? We're at the mouth, not the mouth, god damn it. <laughs> we're at the source of the uh, Amazon here. We're, I think we're technically in Peru now. Words. Okay, I don't remember what's here. Probably something hugely disappointing. An exotic animal. The gold frog. A tiny frog with beautiful golden skin that secretes a mysterious poison. Locals believe that this rare frog will guide one to a legendary land of gold. And see, now, I thought that for a lot of pre-Columbian peoples that gold was... Well, no, I was going to say that it wasn't considered highly valuable, but there were definitely people who found it valuable. So never mind, I'm going to just completely countermand my, uh, my whole didactic response there. What was I talking about? What am I doing? Who am I? We're going up the river. Nothing there. And probably nothing up here, but let's go up for giggles. Nope. Alright, I think that that is it. I think we have fully charted the Amazon in 1524. Not too shabby. Um... Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, well, we're going to go back to Cayenne and try to uh, get our crew uh, replaced. <laughs> There's no way to replace those men. They were all good and unique and wonderful. And now they're piranha food and Archaeopteryx food. Jesus Christ. Freaking Archaeopteryx. What was the other thing that killed a bunch of our guys? It doesn't matter. I'm going <laughs> go to go to the cafe and uh, find some replacements here. Hey sailor, you'll like our mate. <laughs> what kind of what kind of cafe is this? No, that is mate, which I kind of like. It's like tea that tastes like hay. It's not bad. All right, we're gonna recruit. I think that's actually gonna replace everybody. Yeah, it is. That's perfect. With our Abraham Lincoln uh, figurehead, Oliver Twist is assigning crew to our ship, and we are good to go. Okay, so we're going to keep going uh, down the South American coast, and it's going to be down a section that we've already traveled, because um, when we went on our previous voyage to China to get that Sword of Destiny or whatever... Hans, shut up. Just shut up. Shut up! Uh, we've <laughs> we went down the coast of Argentina a little bit, and I think part of Brazil, but... Uh, we did that so that we could get to China, and it's probably going to be somewhat boring because this is all territory that you've seen already, but 
Let's just go ahead and do it. Who knows? Oh, well, there's a there's a buddy. Who's this? Giovanni al dente. <laughs> He's named after my the way that you're supposed to cook pasta. That's delightful. Oh, there's a lot of people going to Cartagena for some reason. Interesting. How about you? Where are you going? Vittorio! Hey! It's not a safe! <laughs> oh, dear me. It's a me! Vittorio! Shoot me. And this is Pernambuco here, right? Yeah, we've already been there. Okay. So we're just going to cruise on down. I think we might just go all the way to... Oh, you know what? We did ignore one of the rivers down here. So we should explore that. I think that we did bypass that. So there's, the, I think it's the Parana River. The Parana River, rather. I don't know how to pronounce it. So we're going to sail up that. I'm actually glad then that my uh, previous recording got shit canned because um, I didn't go up that. So we're going to stop here at the supply port, which I don't remember what we renamed. Blood farts! <laughs> okay. Delightful. <laughs> we're stopping in blood farts. We had a rather bad episode with uh, dysentery while here, I guess. Okie doke. Resupplied, and we're going to go up the river here. And already we've got a discovery. This doesn't have too many, and it's also it's a fairly long river, but there's not a whole lot here, so... Crap. Hopefully this isn't going to be something that kills a bunch of my crew. Because we would have to go back to Rio to um, to re-up on our crew, which would be kind of annoying, but... 20. Try it now. God damn it. I feel like I'm playing the prices right, somehow. Except I'm not winning fabulous prizes. We have discovered an exotic animal, though. The toucan! A loud squawking bird with a huge, brightly colored beak. It feeds chiefly on fruit. Nom nom. Okay. I don't remember what Toucan Sam's, like, catchphrase was. I, I can remember the frickin' Sugar Crisp bear. Because he was vaguely creepy. Uh, I should have gone up that other branch, I guess. But Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. See, that, that's, that's unwholesome sounding. Okay, we're going to park it here, see what we can find. I think this is a waterfall. I don't remember for sure. God damn it. doop de doop doop doo I could off-screen these, but again, I think I already discussed this. I want you to suffer with me, so... As I just push buttons idly. Huh, I don't remember this being such a high-value... ...item. Fascinating. Nope. Nope! I'll take it up to 50. Let's see. Ooh. Fancy. Anything after 50 is uh, pretty valuable. So that's going to be stuff that we're going to have to remember to sell to the professor. Now past 60 is when you're ser starting to talk about some serious business. What? Oh, criminy. Oh, this is a... Fuck, this is another ridiculous one. <laughs> Get ready for stupid... Fucking giant ground sloths. <laughs> Which don't exist anymore, like the Archaeopteryx. A slow-moving hairy mammal with sharp claws. Rumor has it this 20 feet... 
I think it would be 20 foot tall when you're using it in that context. Rumor has it this 20 foot tall creature walks upright and feeds on leaves and branches. And apparently people... Christ. Alright. Gonna go up the other branch here. And unless it's something that completely kills my crew, uh, I'm gonna uh, keep going around the tip of South America. Because there are ports on the other side where we can replenish our crew. So I'm not gonna backtrack to Rio then. Yay! Giant ground sloth. I think, you know, that's weird. We've. I feel like we might have gotten all the really high value um, discoveries other than uh, Rapa Nui, the thing on Easter Island. Which is unusual. I thought it was only like a maximum of two that would show up. But we got the Moa, we got the Sabertooth Tiger, and then we got the Giant Ground Sloth. So I guess it's completely random. There's just like a fixed number of villages it plunks down, and it doesn't matter which, uh, it doesn't take into account the value. So I learned something today. I hope you did too. All right, so we're going through the uh, Straits of Magellan there. Magellan like Magellan. Actually, is there something to the south? I'm going to look to the south real quick. I'm going to indulge my wanderlust. No, it's just fucking cold down here. Yep, see? We're at the south pole, basically. Okay. <laughs> just cruising around. I guess it would be summer in the southern hemisphere at this point, so that's possibly... Not as ridiculous as it looked, but it's still pretty ridiculous. That was where the vampire bat was, I believe. We've already gotten that. And we're going to go to a supply port here. As soon as it rears its supply-inducing head. Inducing is the wrong word, but... Oh, it's Evening Shade. I'm going to rename this port. I like to blood farts, so I left that as is, but... Um, since somebody gave me a suggestion for a port name, I'm going to rename this one. Because Evening Shade, as, as wonderful as uh, Burt Reynolds is, it, we can do better. This one comes courtesy of Dowd Pride 1. Thank you, Dowd Pride 1. You're a gentleman and a scholar. I think that we can do this. Yeah. The feeling of rust against my salad fingers is almost orgasmic. And again, he's going to say it's a nice name. I wish that they would, like, randomly say, that's a fucking awful name. What is wrong with you? But they don't. I guess that I guess that Nintendo probably wouldn't license that or something, but whatever. So we can sail for 46 days because I've gotten some of my crew killed. Works fine for our purposes because we have a long ways to go. I think I'm just gonna take us. Um, probably just gonna take us to uh, Panama, on the other side of Panama from where we started and wind things up there. These are all supply ports that I can rename if you guys give me some names for them. I gave them some shitty names that I came up with, but again, I would just love it ever so much if you <laughs> gave me your own suggestions. Okay, we are in areas now where we haven't been before. We are charting these uncharted waters, and we're about to hit Panama, I think. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Now we're really in Panama. It's allied with Portugal somehow. Nifty. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to wind things up here. We have fully circumnavigated and uh, explored all the rivers in South America there, which is pretty goddamn impressive in my book. So, um, there's just that little block that is unexplorable for us. That's pretty good, I'd say. So, uh, we're going to continue on up the North American coast. We're going to go into my neck of the woods. And we're going to go over the top, like Sylvester Stallone, um, through uh, the messed up, nasty islands up north uh, in Canada. And I say that because that is one of the easiest areas of the game to get completely and utterly lost in. So, that'll be fun. Uh, 
but we've made some significant progress this episode. Progress! Whatever. I'm going to stop talking before I say something regrettable again. This has been Epic Controller playing Uncharted Waters New Horizons. See you later.